Hey guys, uh, it's Lauren here from Life in Our Micro Farm or Loomph. And today I'm going to talk to you guys about aphids, what they look like and how to get rid of them. I actually took my chamomile off of the porch garden because I was having a serious issue with ants, which we're going to talk about in a minute and what role they play with aphids. And aphids, I would put my arm through here and I would end up with aphids on my arm. That right there, that little green thing, actually there's several on here, those are aphids and they're horrible little creatures. The way that they mess up your plants is they actually suck the nutrients from your plants. Let's talk about that a little bit more. Not only can the aphids sit there and drain your plant of precious nutrients via its leaves, etc. It can also be a catalyst for plant diseases. And what's terrible about aphids is once the plant gets overcrowded, they can actually produce offspring that have wings and will fly to find other host plants. They truly are, I'd say, one of the biggest pests for gardeners. But thankfully, there are things that you can do to get rid of them, um, and fairly quickly. Um, but before we discuss that, I wanted to talk about the ant's role in an aphid life. Let's talk a little bit about ants on your plants and what that has to do with aphids. So if you're seeing a lot of ants crawling all over your plants, there is a very high probability that either A, they have built a nest in your pot, or B, or A and B, they are farming aphids on your plant. And yes, I said farming. So. What the ants will do is they will actually farm the aphids up your plant and help them to invade your plant. What the aphids will do is they will munch on your plant, you know, suck the nutrients out of your plant. And like I mentioned before, they can even spread diseases to your plants. And they put off a secretion called honeydew and the ants feed off of the honeydew. So it's a very mutualistic uh, situation, relationship. And it's something that you wanna nip in the butt. So I'm gonna talk about today uh, what you can do to get rid of these horrible little pests and how to do it organically. You're gonna need a handful of things to make your organic neem oil spray. A pump sprayer filled about three fourths of the way full with water. A tablespoon of pure neem oil. You wanna make sure that it is cold pressed, organic, and high in azadiractin. I'm not even sure if I'm saying that right, but that is the active component in neem oil that works as an insecticide. So you're going to need a tablespoon of that. You're going to need a teaspoon of a biodegradable soap. I like to use Dr. Bronner's sal suds. And then you're going to need a glass jar with a lid or a glass jar with a frother is what I used or an immersion blender. This worked amazingly because you're going to want to emulsify the oil and soap mixture before you add it into the rest of your water in your pump sprayer. Okay, I'm hiding in the shade of my green stock plant right now because it's May in Texas and the heat is on. There are almost no clouds in the sky and it's very, very bright. So I'm gonna level with you guys really quick. Last year, I did not go through the trouble of fully emulsifying the oil um, with the soap and water. I threw everything in my pump sprayer, shook it up really good and went about my business. Well, uh, little did I know that that is actually one of the main reasons why people end up sunburning their plants with their neem oil because it doesn't fully emulsify and it'll end up being more concentrated in some areas than not. So I actually learned that from the Homestead and Chill blog. Okay, so what I'm about to show you is you just put your warm water in your jar and you put one tablespoon of your neem oil, one teaspoon of your Dr. Bronner's or whatever bio biodegradable soap you're going to use into warm water in your jar and then you take your immersion blender, your frother, or your lid and you mix it up. Now I had the idea of using the frother. It worked amazing. Like it was so fast. Um, what you want to look for is you don't want to see the oil gathering together at the top of the water and it didn't. It, it blended perfectly. So once that's blended you can add that into your sprayer and um, and then just mix, give it a light mix with the rest of the water. So it's in there and don't mind this sprayer, it's 
older and gross, but it's been used for neem oil several times. Okay, so I'm not actually going to spray my plants right now because I don't like spraying it in the heat of the day when the sun is beating down. There's still oil in there and I don't want to burn my plants. So what I suggest doing is once the sun goes down or starting to set, you spray. You want to make sure to spray the top of your leaves and the bottom of your leaves because a lot of times the aphids are hiding underneath. That's why I say to make sure that you spray the bottom of your leaves and your flowers because look at this. Never have known that all those aphids were underneath. Hey guys, well, I hope that helps you uh, make your neem oil spray and get rid of those pesky aphids and keep those plants beautiful. Happy gardening.